You all hear that? That's my neighbor on his porch talking on his phone. This is not as loud as he sometimes gets, but he definitely seems to want the entire neighborhood to know his business. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is another one from my daughter. She seems to be feeding the habit, I guess taking care of the collection, however you want to think about it. This is Sashomaru from Inuasha. Now, I'm really kind of particular about my anime. I tend to prefer, prefer I can talk, prefer more adult anime like um, Witch Hunter Robin, Vampire Hunter D, um, there's one rain, Wolf's Rain, stuff like that. They're, the characters and the drawings are... Um, I think more attuned to older kids and adults rather than children and that's what I prefer. However, I did end up liking Inuasha, the little bits that I saw. My understanding is there was a lot of seasons. Um, I think I saw bits and pieces of one through three, unfortunately, and or maybe a little further than that because I'm not sure, quite sure when Sashomaru came in, but Sashomaru was my favorite character other than Inuasha himself. So my daughter found the mug and she went ahead and picked up this coffee mug for me, which I really appreciate. Like I said, she's helping to build that collection like crazy. Anyway, so in our mug is a Sips by Tea. This is the Cerdobos, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, maple rooibos. It's caffeine free, um, obviously from Cerdobos, Cerdobos. There's only one S. I don't know. Uh, it has rooibos and natural flavoring. It's supposed to be maple flavored. I can tell you it smells like maple. I took it out of the, uh, the little package it comes in. This little package it comes in. Clear package. And you could smell it from the bag immediately. You smell the maple in here. Um, really excited about this one. I'm, I love real maple. I don't like the, you know, Aunt Jemima maple. I don't like the Aunt Jemima maple. That stuff is so, um, I'm getting to the point where I can taste the difference between, you know, something that's real, like the real maple syrup and that kind of syrup. At any rate, let's give her a sip and see if she tastes as good as she smells. It's really hot. Not getting much of the maple yet. And if the maple is only flavoring, I don't see it getting stronger, but we'll see. But if the maple is flavoring, is only flavoring, I don't see it getting any stronger, but we'll have to see. Because of the maple, I tried to go easy on the sugar and I can tell. I'm, I'm not sure about this one. Hopefully by the end of our video, we will have much stronger flavor. So today we are doing another big hair care review. Now, some of the things that I have in my hair care reviews, um, well, one, I get a lot of product, so I can't spend a lot of time on something, um, particularly if I know right away it's not going to work. Uh, but I do try to use them at least twice, if not more than that. Um, I do have my favorites. If my hair is starting to show signs of wear and tear, I will go to the things that I know work, and I have to put the, the stuff that I'm reviewing aside for a while. That said, most of these I end up only being able to use once or twice. Usually in that time, I I can pretty much tell whether or not I'm going to like it, whether or not I'm going to keep it, if I can reuse it. Uh, particularly if it's something that dries out my hair, I'm going to be very careful about um, wanting to use it again. There's a lot of them that dry out my hair, particularly shampoos are an issue for me. Um, others, they just don't work for my hair for whatever reason. I actually have also had uh, products that I really enjoyed that I thought were cool, uh, 
end up not working for my hair later. Uh, having one right now that I bought in curl box and I really kind of liked when I first got it and it's not working so well for my hair right now. Now that might be a seasonal thing or whatever and some of these might be seasonal and that's going to be the the limitation of some of these reviews. They've only been used once or twice for whatever reason. Some of them can only be used once or twice because I use them maybe once every two months or once a month at most. Uh, others I know right away that I'm not going to use them. Uh, so and on top of that, if your hair is not like my hair, and my hair is apparently very strange, if your hair is not like my hair, they may work wonderfully for you. But these are coming from my perspective, and I do try to get through them because I almost always have more hair care coming in. At any rate, so let's dive in, and we are going to start with the Eden Body Works. Uh, peppermint tea tree shampoo as you know i got this in my last ambassador box this is an interesting one it has a slickness to it do I, that i don't associate with clarifiers and this is it says it's a natural shampoo that cleanses and clarifies so this is supposed to be a clarifying shampoo you use clarifiers once every month to two months and what they do is they remove any excess buildup that your regular shampoo or your co-washes didn't get off your hair or off your scalp um, so you do need to use them and they do tend to um, have stronger cleansing properties than your regular everyday shampoo that you use once a week or once every two weeks however long you do it so this one had a lot more slickness it had a lot more slip than i associate with clarifiers most clarifiers do not have that kind of slip uh, it lathers up nicely and it feels really nice on the scalp because of the peppermint. The peppermint scent is all also very nice. It's not very strong. This One of the things that I do enjoy about, I'm going to say I like about the line, is actually some of the scent. As you all know, Eden Body Works, for most of them, the fragrance is near the bottom or at the bottom end of the middle. It's not near the top. And uh, I really appreciate that about Eden Body Works. I also appreciate the fact that... Um, that scent does not linger too long on your hair. Usually when I tip my hair out of my towel, I'll get a big, the last final waft of whatever I've used and then it starts to fade from there. So it doesn't stay in your hair all day. Uh, to my knowledge, if someone has much more sensitive smell than I do, then maybe it does. It just doesn't for me. It does dry out my hair a little. My hair was moderately tangled, which is indicates dryness for my hair. As you know, with my hair, it doesn't tangle very often unless it has gotten dried out. Um, but it was fairly easy, fairly easy to finger detangle. Despite the dry dryness, I liked how it felt. The shampoo and the conditioner... I can't say they give you, they don't give you a strong tingling. What they do give you is almost like a cooling sensation on your head. It's really interesting. It's really nice. I really enjoy it. That said, it's going to the neighbor. Uh, I have other good clarifiers. One of them I will be talking about in this review. And I try not to use anything that will dry out my hair. So yeah, as much as I enjoyed the sensation of this one, and it didn't dry me out very much. I mean, it, it it was just a touch more than, say, maybe my Design Essentials Almond and Avocado, which barely does that at all. That's a regular shampoo. Um, so this is just a little bit more than that. It still did dry out my hair. It still did cause some tangles. And for that reason, um, I won't be keeping it. This one will be going to the neighbor. But if you don't have hair that has sensitive ends like I do, that doesn't... That, if you don't have hair that dries out easily, uh, this might be a good clarifier for you to try. It definitely got my hair clean. Um, it wasn't squeaky. It didn't feel stripped or anything of that nature. It's just with my hair, that dryness and that tangling is something I attempt to avoid. And when there are other products that don't do that to my hair, that's what I'm going to lean for, lean toward. That's what I'm going to repurchase. So. It's an enjoyable product, but it's not a product for my hair. Next, obviously, is the conditioner. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, this is a thick, same nice scent as the shampoo, the same coolness on the scalp. Despite how thick it is, it smooths out so it's on the lighter side on the hair. This is, watch. As you can see, I, it takes some effort to get it down there. It is very thick coming out of the bottle, but when you smooth it out in your hands, it, it's 
smooths out to a light creamy texture in the hair. It's not quite as light as a leave-in conditioner and I do have the milk that I'm still working on deciding how I feel about it. <laughs> I think the milk has glycerin in it which is one of the reasons why I'm like uh I like it but I but did I like it but glycerin yeah that kind of thing going on um so I think this is actually on par with the milk in terms of the lightness of it leave-ins the leave-ins that I tend to use are very very light which I have to use on my hair because my curl will do what it's doing today which is kind of wilting and not have a whole lot of volume I'm not quite sure what happened I used my favorite stuff and it's just like mm. it might be the weather it's it's been humid we have lots of storms this week so it's probably the weather affecting how stuff works so it's not as light as a leave-in but it is not as heavy as most regular conditioners regular conditioners I have found more recently as my hair has gotten healthier tend to do what putting too much product in what using anything heavy does it makes my hair limp and uh unhappy and um kills the curl so to speak uh but since it's in that in between space i have found that i can mix this with stuff too it's really nice as a mixer it does counter the uh, dryness left by the shampoo. It also uh, really kind of moisturizes the hair. I actually really like this. I like the way this feels. I like the way my hair feels when it's out. I don't feel like it weighs down my hair. Um, I like the feeling of it on the scalp. Um, I've actually already repurchased some of this. Uh, I needed to repurchase something else and then I chose to when I was purchasing those other things, I ended up going ahead and picking up one or two of these as well. Um, again, recommend it, uh, especially if you're going to use this particular conditioner and you like that cooling sensation, you'll really like this. And again, it has that same light scent and it's not very heavy. So if you have a curl pattern that tends to fall out very easily um, when you comb it out or whatever, and uh, that kind of thing. This will not, this should not weigh down your curls. Uh, if it does, then you definitely have to go to a leave-in, which would be much lighter. So, but again, I highly recommend it, and I'm going to be keeping this one, and I have bought more, and yeah, so there's that. All right, so the next thing I'm going to review is the uh, Curls uh, Cashmere and Caviar line. There are five products. There might be more. I only have five products. They had a sale where you can get the whole line. The whole line is like $85 or something. It's really expensive. Um, but you could get it like for $45 or $50. I think I got it for $45 plus whatever on the shipping. And it includes a hair bath with shampoo. It includes the hair silk, which if I remember is like a leave-in. Yes, this is the leave-in. It includes this gelée. Uh, it includes a serum. And it includes a mask. This was a hit or miss for me. I don't... I don't regret spending the money to give it a try. There are a few things in here that... Uh, there's two. Th one thing in here I really liked. A couple things that I'm going to finish using up. But it's not a line that I would repurchase, as you'll find out why. This line, like I said, it normally runs $85. Uh, these products tend to run $18 to $20, a little more, somewhere in there. That's really expensive for uh, me for hair care. I like to stay within the 10 to 15 mark for the most part. I have a few things I buy that are higher. But, um, yeah, these, these I felt weren't... One of them I might buy again, but for the rest of them, I didn't feel that the results I got was worth the price. So let's start with the hair bath. Uh, the glycerin is the third ingredient. It's low lather. was really surprised by this as I expected it to be very drying. There was a bit of dryness, but very little on par again with my Design Essentials Almond and also, um Almond and Avocado. Uh, as you know, that's become my new go-to for washing my hair. And next to no tangling, hair felt clean but not stripped, no squeak. That said, because of this of the glycerin, this is going to one of my girls. Both this and the leave-in, no, 
the gelée had glycerin. I like this, but the glycerin knocks it out of being kept for me. Because it is like an $18 or $15 or something, it's between $15 and $20. Because it's such a high price item, um, it's not going to go to um, my neighbor. It is going to go to my uh, daughter. I'd much rather give those higher price items. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, but if you're gly glycerin sensitive, if your hair is glycerin sensitive, I would not recommend it. If your hair has no problem with glycerin and you have no problem with the price, it's a good product. It didn't dry out my hair, um, which is what I expected it to do. It didn't dry out my hair and um, it didn't leave it tangled or anything like that. So it's a very good product. It's just because of the glycerin, it's not for my hair. If you don't have the problems that my hair has, and you want like a luxurious type thing, uh, this would be uh, something I could recommend for that. All right, so next in the series, because they don't have an actual uh, conditioner in here, I use the hair mask. Um, I love the creamy consistency of this. This is, this is an interesting one. If you look at it, it looks almost like Crisco, but when you touch it, it's it's not really. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. It's very light. Um, it blends out beautifully in the hands. It feels moisturizing. You can feel the moisture in it. Um, and it did help with a bit of the dryness left by the shampoo. It's also very lightweight, which is another thing that I really enjoyed. The biggest thing I noticed was the second time I used it. The first time I'm not usually, I'm paying more attention to how drying it's gonna be on my hair. Is it doing what it says it's gonna do? I'm not necessarily noticing anything extra that it may be doing in addition to what it says it's gonna do. Uh, this is a moisture mask, I believe. Luxurious hair mask infused with cashmere, caviar extract, and ex antioxidants, and vitamins to strengthen and smooth your hair. It helps repair any scalp damage, promotes faster hair growth, and of course, a healthier scalp. And I do feel like for most of that, it did it. The only thing I had any issues with on the claims of these particular products is hair growth. And we'll get into that in a minute because of the serum. So, back to what we were saying. The biggest thing I noticed was the second time I used it. I'd been noticing some dryness on starting on my ends and this really helped on wash and mask day. When I wash my hair with shampoo, I almost always mask it. Let's put the appropriate front towards you guys. There we go. Um, almost always mask because shampoos will dry out my hair in general. The effects of most masks seem to dissipate or get washed out even with a co-wash. So if I'm noticing that my mask is um, giving me more volume, I will notice when I co-wash and then I dry the next time that volume goes away. Uh, this does not add volume, so it's not, I'm just saying as an example. But not this one. My hair felt nourished and moisturized with no dryness even after rinsing the co-wash out. Of all the products in the line, this is the one that I'd be most inclined to buy despite the pricier price tag and I don't have that listed in my notes so I will put that down here somewhere for you to see but yes this this is the one that I'm I would consider repurchasing just based on how my hair reacted to it later it gives my hair it gave my hair a lot of moisture it definitely they're being out there they've already been around the house I'm sorry guys this is irritating the air blowers who are getting rid of the leaves that are not on the ground and all that other shit, well, I guess there's some, have already been around our apartment and now they're coming back. So if you hear that rumbling in the background, it is the workers coming back here the third time today. At any rate, keeping this one, I am considering repurchasing. Uh, a lot of that has to do with masks. Um, since I don't use them every day, it's not like I would be rebuying it on a consistent basis. I'd repurchase it once or twice a year. I roll through my masks, I rotate through them. So yeah, 
this is one I would consider rebuying. All right, so next we have the Hair Silk, which is the leave-in. I will be keeping this. I probably would not repurchase it. This is a really nice moisture boost, especially emulsified with water and used to give my hair a boost before bed. Before I go to bed at night, I always add a little bit of extra moisture and then I seal that in with the Eden Body Works um, papaya caster conditioning hairdress. And I do that because when I say my hair is sensitive, it will dry out overnight. And I'm not very good about wearing silk bonnets. I've been trying to get used to it. I'm not getting used to it very well. Hello, go over there. <laughs> I'm not getting used to it very well, so I'm not very consistent with them. They make me uncomfortable and they tend to slip. And anything that slips down into here, which a lot of them do, will, um, increase any storm headaches I get and we've had a lot of weather lately so so my hair is usually exposed it's up in a pineapple but the ends are usually exposed so adding some extra moisture particularly to the ends and then sealing it in helps keep my hair from drying out overnight is this worth the $15 price tag for that maybe probably not but maybe it's not something I'm in a hurry to repurchase so we have to see how about feeling about it then especially since other leave-ins can do the same thing being glycerin free is a plus though. Um, a lot of leave-ins and stuff, they have glycerin. They want to help draw in more moisture in your hair and that doesn't help my hair at all. Uh, so being glycerin free is a plus and it gives me a nice base if, if I choose to refresh rather than co-wash. It's easier to keep the frizz down if you're starting off with less frizz to begin with. But again, it's something I probably could find in another product for $10, give or take. Uh, you know, something from the Eden Body Works line. The scent is nice and light and doesn't linger too long, so that's good too. Um, I am on the fence about this one. I have found that it does emulsify really well. Some leave-in conditioners, for some reason, when you emulsify them in their hands, they're still very... You try to put them in your hair, they're still very... It's more like they... Um, I can't even explain it. It's like they go on one spot and not on other spots. They don't seem to be... Uh, go throughout the hair very easily. This one does, so that is nice, um, but it's a price tag thing. $15 is a lot, and this is one that I would be using almost every night or every night, depending on what else I'm trying out, and so that $15 would add up. So next, this one I'm going to keep, but I'm not... I'm going to try to use it a little differently and I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> At any rate, this is the hair serum in the line. This is a very thick and milky serum. Um, I did find I have to shake it. If I don't shake it, it's like it separates or something. Uh, what? I get more of an oil base when I don't shake it. But when you do shake it, you get closer to this. It's thick. See, it's very thick. It's very milky. Um, if you look at my hand, it gives my hand a sheen like an oil. So it's like an oil. Uh, now, it says, this is where we're going to get into the hair growth thing. As you all know, I've been for... I've been actually working with some things to help my hair grow. I want my hair to be longer. Hair growth starts at the root. It, your actual, this part of your hair doesn't grow. It's, it's, it's done. Your hair growth starts from your roots. So anything that you're going to use that's going to help your hair grow has to be applied to your scalp. So this adds sheen and shine and all this other stuff that they talk about, plus hair growth. Well, that's only going to work if you apply it to your scalp not to your hair. It doesn't, it won't add growth here. It'll, you'll have to put it here. So I would massage this into my scalp every night. I did it for several weeks actually. And unfortunately I didn't see much change in my hair growth. So I will probably continue to use this as an oil, um, you know, to give me shine, give me a little extra, I don't know if it'll do it now because my hair is already looking looking like trash. This stuff is going to last me forever. This is the thing about oils. They last and last and last and last. Okay, so we're throwing some of this in. Now, I do love the scent of it. It's got a beautiful, the same beautiful scent as the rest of it. Okay. 
but I can, the kittens, I can say it does add shine. It does add a beautiful shine. And because I'm fluffing my hair, it's looking like it's giving me volume. It's not, it's because I'm fluffing my hair. Um, it did add some shine. It did give it a little bit more curl, but I have other oils that do that, um, that are, well, I have one that's more expensive than this and most of the others are less. Um, so I will consider using it like this in the future. Uh, considering the prices of the line, I probably won't be repurchasing. I don't know. Again, I'll have to note the cost of this thing down below, oh, somewhere in here. Um, and I have a lot of oils, and there are very, very few that I would purchase again. A couple of them I can't purchase again. Uh, there was uh, an oil. I can't remember. Anyway, there's only like two or three that I would repurchase again. Uh, I'm not sure this is one of them. I'm going to have to continue to play around with it, see how it reacts with my hair in different circumstances. Let's see if this kind of stays, see if the shine kind of stays, because I only use this on my scalp because it's supposed to be for hair growth. Well, on my hair, it's not going to give me hair growth, so, unfortunately. So, I don't know if I can recommend this. I don't know if I should recommend this. Um, I personally prefer the Evita Dry Remedy Dry, the Dry Remedy Oil. I can talk. I know what it is. I have one right here. <laughs> uh, I prefer that. It That actually gives me some shine and uh, seems to really penetrate my hair. Um, I have a couple of others that honestly I probably should just get ready to throw out because they're older. They're about a year and those things can go bad. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to, when I get to the end of it, I will have to let you know when it and lands in my um, reverse rouge, uh, which is going to be late along with my shop, my stash. They're both going to be late. Uh, but I'll have to let you know and uh, if I'm going to repurchase at that point, because I think this was another $20 or something like that thing. And, and it'll last a while. So that's one thing about the price. But at the same time, like I said, I have other oils that I like. I babble a lot. I know that. Anyway, last in this line is the Gelee. I only used this one once or twice. Uh, glycerin is the second ingredient. I'm also wondering that since this is, says it is for kinkier, it says for kinky textured hair, um, if this is supposed to provide any hold at all, it doesn't even feel it provides as much as the Curls Be Smooth that I like. Um, I wasn't impressed with this at all. I honestly, for the price, I would have expected more something. This this didn't, I'll say again, it wasn't horrible. It just did not, it, it, it was there. It was there. So uh, it really didn't have any hold for me. Like I said, for kinkier textures, that might be different. Um, my daughter doesn't have kinky textures, but my other daughter has a lot of stuff for her and her daughter, so I don't think she wants it. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not impressed with, I would not recommend this. Just, if you're looking for something with hold, definitely not this. Like I said, glycerin is really high, so, um, yeah, it just, it did not impress me at all. Um, out of the entire line, this is the one that I would be least likely to get again. All right, so when used all together with no other products, there's one thing this line didn't do for my hair, and that was control frizz, as we've discussed earlier. Considering the number of things with high glycerin in the content and where you use them, um, like you use one very early in the, in the process and you use one very late in the process, this was no surprise. And if you add in the fact that the gelée had no hold, well, again, you're looking at something that's supposed to, that hold would help limit your frizz a little bit. And since it has no hold, it didn't. Uh, so my curl pattern was a little different too, more broken up in a way. There were fewer clumped together cur coils and less definition overall. Probably both the result of not using a curl defining cream because this line did not have one. Um, it was interesting. By the end of the day, I felt my hair was drier than usual because of the products with the higher glycerin. This isn't a surprise. I do like the scent, but a scent is not enough to purchase, repurchase a product, particularly a high-end product. Um, so yeah, overall, the, this line was very mixed results with for me. I've been wanting to try it for a while, so I'm not unhappy that I tried it. Um, 
I guess I regret the money a little bit, but at least I got it on sale. So, yeah, overall the line just, um, eh, eh. All right, so next are the two items that I don't use on a regular basis. And what I mean by that is they don't come in every week. They don't come in. They're uh, every six to eight weeks uh, in general, generally speaking. And the first is the o uh, Oedad Waterworks Clarifying Shampoo. Um, I used this when I felt another shampoo didn't get my hair quite clean enough for a protein treatment I wanted to try, which we're also going to be talking about. Uh, I worried about my ends getting dried out, but my hair wasn't dried out at all. No tangles, nothing. It has all the things to remove buildup. And I was pleasantly surprised, especially for a second wash, which I rarely, rarely do. Because my hair dries out so easily, I'm not one of those people that does two washes on my hair. I have heard of people who do two washes on their hair. I don't understand it, but I guess some people feel they need to. See, my curl over here is dying. Anyway, um, so I, I don't do that very often, but I had wanted to, I had some stuff in my hair. I used a shampoo that I had hoped would get it all out. I didn't feel it got it all out, so I finally gave this a try. I've also tried this by itself. I needed very little of it for decent uh, lather, which is a good thing since it's just a smidge above my usual price point. This is also $18, and it's become my go-to clarifier. I highly recommend this, especially if you have a problem with your ends drying out like I do. Um, this cleaned my hair, got rid of all the crap that I was trying to get out of my hair, and um, didn't dry out my hair at all. At all. My hair felt clean. It didn't feel... I didn't get the high pitch stripped clean type of clean. It just felt clean and it felt like everything got out. I got, um, no slick, you know, a lot of these, uh, products will leave a slickness behind. None of that. All of it was gone. All of that was gone. It was my hair, uh, just softer and without any dryness after being washed twice. So become a go-to because I use this every two months. Um, I can justify the $18 because this thing here will probably last me a good six months to a year minimum. Uh, I also have a full size bot for me by my daughter. I bet you that would last anywhere from a year to 18 months. Uh, like I said, I'm not using a lot of it when I use it. So very, very, very pleased with it. Highly recommend that if you're looking for a clarifier. The last one that we're doing today, aren't you glad, is the Botanica Beauty, the Mender Protein Treatment. Now, there is another protein treatment that people recommend. I read the directions on that protein treatment and went, no. <laughs> Apparently, you put it in your hair and you're supposed to let your hair harden up. I'm not risking that. That kind of stuff, I will leave for salon people who know what the frick they're doing. <clears throat> so this is almost watery consistency, so I do feel like I have to use a bit more of it to get it to saturate my hair. But this isn't a deal breaker with something that I use every two months. I was prepared to use conditioner after it. Uh, some protein, I've tried other protein treatments where your hair feels a little harder. Um, feels like it needs some moisture, basically. Not necessarily dry, just like it needs something to help soften and loosen it up a bit. Uh, but I didn't need it. I, it left my hair smooth and silky and tangle-free. For some reason, it also makes my hair feel thicker. It's an easy protein pre treatment to use. Um, I recommend it. I'm going to be repurchasing this as well whenever I run out. This is 12 ounces. All these will be listed down below with the prices. This is 12 ounces. So... Um, as I recall, this wasn't that expensive. Yeah, this is $16, anywhere from $12 to $16, depending on where you get it, for 12 ounces. So that's worth it to me. I'm Like I said, I'm only going to be using it once every two months. And um, so recommend it if you want to do protein treatments at home. You do need to figure out that balance between protein and moisture. You do need protein treatments upon occasion. So this is a really good priced item. It's very easy. You put it in your hair, you leave it in your hair for 15 minutes, you rinse it out. That's it. 
And like I said, I didn't need any conditioner. I didn't need anything to uh, soften up or um, otherwise help my hair later be, make it feel moisturized rather than stiff or hard or anything of that nature. So this is a really easy one to use on a regular basis in between times when you get a professional protein treatments from your stylist. Highly recommend. Obviously a keeper. Anyway, so that is all my hair care for this particular review. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe. Lots of hoping going on around here. If you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, Monday and Thursday, but we do have bonus videos. Way too many bonus videos because I do indie brands and I'm not supposed to be doing that anymore, but guess what I keep doing? Yeah. I gotta stop. I really gotta stop. At any rate, so we open indie brands around here, which we review later. My son opens his My Geek Box every month. His My Geek Box should be on its way soon for July. Also, if you send anything, that will also be a bonus video, unless you don't want it to be. So, you know, make sure to let me know either here or on my Facebook or something. You can let me know if you do not want it to be a bonus video, and then we can make sure not to film opening it. If you're interested in any of those, you will need to have that bell clicked so that you'll be notified because they do not go up on my regular upload days. If you're part of my notification squad, you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription. Subscription, I can talk, really, to make sure that they're both still active. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, I'd be sad. I'd be disappointed, you know. But you're always welcome back here because we love having the company. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, going to give this a taste and hopefully we've got more maple flavor in here. We'll see. Here we go. A little bit, not much. It's not a horrible tea. It's not a tea I'd repurchase, sadly. These things happen. I would like to have much more maple flavor. That That's, I think I'm getting more of the rooibos than I am of the maple flavoring. Anyway, so that's it. Hope you have a good one.